Okay, thank you. Well, um, I'm really glad to be here. Uh, as, you, as you say, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening for, for every of you in, in the world. Uh, well, let's let's talk about uh, the this talk, and le I'm gonna well first I'm, I'm gonna talk about uh, a little bit of me. Uh, well, Tim talk about it, but well, I'm a systems engineer. Uh, my uh, profession, I studied systems engineer. Uh, I've been some years in in, in the field. Uh, I've been making some some talks for for some time now and working in, in different companies. But one one thing. One one thing uh, I like to 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 um, that that I love about the work is that I had the opportunity to work as a the uh, architecture manager, an auditor, an audited car marxists. <laughs> uh, Pentester uh, as a part of the Pentester uh, team uh, and, and leading some some red teams also some research and and, and that gives me I believe uh, different points of view about what we do in, in in the daily work in security and that's that's something I I, I really um, try to, to get the, the most of, of, of that vision. Uh, I, I will share a, a little bit. Well, this is the agenda. First, some background, how, how this, this, this talk um, started. Um, some basic theory, probably uh, the one that, that you have already seen in SQL injection and blind. Maybe you say, OK, more, more of, of the same. But I believe it's, it's important that all are uh, that we all um, are uh, in the same level of, of knowledge. And then we go to see some lab and, and see some, some scripts I, I developed for, for making this, this uh, blind SQL injection using binary search algorithm and some extras on some other methods that exist in the wild and some conclusions and talks. But I hope that the time will, will be enough. Well. First, uh, a, a big disclaimer. Um, excuse my pronunciation. As I say, English is not my, my native language, but I will do my best. Well, this uh, this talk appears um, when I was making some labs. I was studying, I was practicing, and I was making some blind uh, SQL injection attacks, but I was not using tools. I was not using SQL map. I was using Python and, and making my, my own scripts. That was was part of the training, but the thing was that I was connecting to through a VPN, through a server. The line was not so fast, and it took a lot of time to make the the, the blind SQL injection because you go one and uh, letter by letter asking if it's the A, it's the B, it's the C, it's the D, and when you find it, you you go on. And was really, really, really slow, and I was I had to make a lot of, of, of tests, uh, uh, try and error. And I, I was thinking, how could I improve, be more efficient? And, and that that's why the idea I had to 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 try to try this the thing. So uh, well, first some theory as I, as as I as I said. SQL injection probably is, is, is a really old exploitation technique, but it's still fun in some applications. It's 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 crazy uh, when you tell about SQL injection. Oh, that's old. That's really old. I I, I remember chats or, or talks. I don't know 205, 200 that you were uh, always had the SQL injection and still is in the top always top ten. Uh, well, now it's not in the first; it's in the third uh, place in the in the twenty twenty one. But this is still appearing, and as, as you can see, it, it consists in injecting SQL code in this case, uh, or some logic uh, into some input variable to obtain access to the database, and sometimes compromise the entire system. Not only uh, get some information. And one of the first causes is the lack of controls that filter the input. If you put some data and that data is not filtered, probably you could insert or inject some uh, commands or some data that could affect the, the query you are making. 
uh, in in the in the process and it works in the application layer so solutions that work in inferior layers will not protect in your infrastructure what i am talking about a firewall works in layer three and four it's port origin and destiny it's uh, ip origin and destiny that won't work with um a sql injection as, as, a, as a control or as a protection if I go, uh, well, I, I use in the lab the, the dam vulnerability web application, and this is the, 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 the SQL injection part. And it's if you see the code, you could see in, in, in this zone that there is an ID. This ID, it's what we are going to put in the user ID uh, box, and we will submit. What with, will happen that the, that that data will go directly to a query. And that's what we are going to inject because there is no limit. And I will go to some, uh, I don't know, it's, it's the first thing you, you, you learn when you do SQL injection. Okay, you put a, a apostrophe or one or one, uh, dash, dash, and the list will be become a, co a comment. And what happened? You get the data and that's it. Sorry for the spoiler for the one who haven't entered to the, to the, to the SQL injection uh, part and that's it. it it's really simple if you go to blind it's a vulnerability that still found in, in the os top 10 21 in the third position right now uh, it's a type of sql injection attack but uh, you ask the database for a true or a false uh, answer you, you ask for for a, a closed answer and determine uh, and, and you try to to uh, determine determine the in based of the answer, what it's the character or the data you are asking for. We will, I will explain it in, in a moment. It's a very cumbersome and slow technique. Um, it, it's it's inevitable for, for the way we are going to extract information. And it's really common to use some automated tools. It's really common to use SQL map, but something that happens when you start to working with some complex applications, that SQL map maybe won't work. So you will have to go to the, the to, to work with the nails, to work with the hands and, and make some custom uh, adapt, adaptations. And, and that's where we are trying to go. In this vulnerability, you will need to protect not only the input that you are inserting in, into the application, but also the output you are giving because that output would give um, some information to the attacker. And well, if, if we go to SQL injection, uh, you, you could find the, the error base, the blind base. And in the blind base, blind base you, you will find the, the Boolean and the uh, time base. I, I will work with the Boolean uh, principle in, 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 this, in this lab that I'm going to, to talk about it. Well. If we talk about SQL injection, if, if you in the blind SQL injection and in, in the in the challenge you have in the dumb vulnerability web application, you see that there is um, an, a message that it's appearing. The user ID is missing from the database. Yeah, that's information for us. If you see here, the data it's going, sorry, the data is going through the query but in the bottom part, you see that the user is missing from the database appears as one response. The, 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 the ID is missing from the database, but also there is another message that talks about uh, the user ID exists in the database. So could be interesting to go through that way. And that's the way we are going to, 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 to work in, in the script. Well, the binary search algorithm is an efficient algorithm for finding uh, an item from a certain list of items, uh, consisting repeatedly dividing the half portion of the list that uh, could contain the, the, the item you, until you narrow down to one position. It's common, uh, includes a section of, of uh, it's, uh, it's commonly included as a section in, in many programming courses. Uh, probably if you have, study, I don't know, Python or C or Pascal or, or any any language, probably you, you will pass through the binary search as you probably pass as the um, Tower of Hanoi uh, challenge and make some program to, automa uh, to automate that, that kind of, 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 
of work. Uh, if you don't remember the, the Tower of Hanoi, I'll show you them. <laughs> and the binary search goes like this. You have uh, an order list of, of, of items you want to, to search. In, in that search, we are going to go in the first line, we are going to go for the six and we go to the middle one and we ask the middle one, it's it's um, greater than or, or lower than. Be, uh, depending on the on the answer, we will go to the to the to the mid to the middle and go for the the space where the the data we are asking for uh, is or not, and then we will find a new middle space, and from that we will go on the times that we uh, that that be necessary to get the the correct data. Uh, but let's go to a lab. Okay, this lab, I, I don't like this lab because it remembers coronavirus and I prefer this lab, but this is not true. This is the lab probably that we will have more, 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 of, more or less, more um, in, in real life and so and so on. What's the, what I have in, in, in my lab, it, it's, it's really simple, uh, I'm in, in a Mac. In the Mac, I have a virtual machine. I, I, I have a Kali Linux with Python, a Burp Suite, uh, Visual Studio Code. It's the dev I used to use in, in Firefox. Inside, I, I load uh, Docker with the, the Dumb Vulnerability web application that has uh, PHP and MariaDB. Uh, it's on my SQL with uh, more improved. Uh, it's, it's really interesting. Well, this is my first testing script. I will work with the um, with the the lab that appears in the DAM vulnerability web application, and I will well go for uh, in that way. Uh, I, I I want to to explain some some things in, in this script. Uh, in the first part, from the line one to eight, it's Data, just the the libraries are I am using the proxy because I want to go through the um, to to get uh, that the script pass through my my burp application the cookies because was easier to use the cookie that was already in in the application that create than creating a, a login session so <laughs> I go through through that way and then I um, make a request to function. Uh, this request function uh, includes the IP and a string query type, uh, uh, an injection string and a query type. That's the three the three variables I, I inject. The first one, the IP appears here uh, in the line 10 and the injection string. And according if it's uh, the query type true or false, uh, that will give me uh, in the next in the next condition in the in the 14 uh, the 14 through 19 uh, a line you will find the the, the condition of, of, of the of this function and another thing I include it's uh, two injection strings one it's uh, a true injection string and the other one it's a uh, a false injection string. What I, I'm doing here, and let me go through the through the lab. Um, well, we are here. What I'm doing here, it's trying to get from um, from the from the the, the lab um, some information. When I do this, when I put the, the typical SQL injection. Um, um, query, I found that this appears in, 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 in two parts. First, I will go to burp. Uh, I will find that the query was made here. Uh, maybe I, 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 I'm not sure if, if you could follow me. Uh, you could see that I'm making a request in this line that it's vulnerability. And here appears the code that I'm including in the ID in the, the source code that I showed you before. Uh, and that gives me some, some, some response. I'm gonna try for 
some data that if you see the source code and if it loads, okay, Morphe here you are. Okay, anyway, we will go for the search. This will put in my query if everything works. For some reason, but work it all the time, start failing right now. Okay, let me see what happened. Okay, we got a response. Uh, what I do here is that the query that we have in the source code, I, I will go here. Um, the, the query we were, uh, I will go, I will go here to, to this. Uh, this is the blind. Okay. What I'm inserting here is that in the ID, I'm asking select first name, last name from users where the ID it's first, it's empty because I close the first uh, apostrophe and they uh, I ask or A it's equal to A. a. That's what I'm including in the, in the data. What happens if I but um, if the user is uh, empty or A, it's equal to B, the response gives us, see, I don't know why it's so slow. I can't understand why the, virtual machine it's not working uh, i'm so sorry about this let me let me keep on the track well what i'm doing here it's that i'm inserting the true the true injection string and the, the false injection string and um then uh, i ask if the true injection strings it's valid so i i, I could i could validate the false and the true one, that means that the target is vulnerable. Uh, let me see if I go to a terminal machine and send it to working or not um, the query is being made the query is not being made uh, I don't know why it's not working what is happening here Uh, I don't know what is happening with my virtual machine. Uh, well, I, I will go through through the, the through through the through the PowerPoint. I'm sorry, uh, my my machine is, is really failing right now. Well, what I do it's as I told you, I put both injection strings, the true and the false, and that I include the validation process. Uh, what gives me if it's the target, it's vulnerable or not. And, and according to validation arguments, if both, uh, if, if I could get a, a true response and a false response in, in the script, that means that the target is vulnerable. Now I need to, um, to go on to a sequential blind search. What I'm doing here is that I'm mixing, well, uh, well I, I'm, I'm including here the same search, but I'm making some, some changes. First, in the request function, I'm asking for the, the same query, the IP and the, and the injection string, but you see here, I'm including a four, 
uh, a, uh, a loop that uh, have a range from 32 to 126. Why I'm using 32 to 126 or 126? It's because I'm using the ASCII, the ASCII table and from the 32 to the 126 are all the printable uh, characters that I could use in, in the loop. And uh, uh, now I'm only trying to get the, um, the true requests in my queries. And I start in my, this is part of my injection uh, from the 11 to the 20. It's my injection um, function. And in my, in my main function, what I'm asking is for each of the characters of the query I'm going to make, that it's, uh, I'm, I'm here getting a version uh, of, the, of the database. Um, the, the, what, what I'm doing here, it's trying to get uh, the data of the version. And uh, the substring would give me first the, the first character and then the second and then the, the third and so on through the 20 character. And I will get this uh, character and convert it to ASCII and we'll um, ask if this character is equal to the character I'm, I'm, I'm asking for. And through that, I will start to getting I will ask, uh, or the, the program will ask, if um, the the first letter of the version of the version query it's a, uh, if it's true, will appears and we will get that data and we will print it in 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 our in our script. If it's not, there will then we'll go to the to the B and then to the C and then to the D and so on through all the um, 94 uh, characters printable and so on. That's a blind search. That's a normal uh, blind search. And what I'm, I'm getting here, it's the query. And then I go to the binary search. What do I do in the binary search? This is the algorithm step-by-step, step, what, what I have here. I have the bottom, the bottom of the, of my, of the bottom of, of the characters I'm going to, to ask and the top one, 126, and there is a middle. And what I do here, it's that I have three options. One thing that could happen, it's that the character, the first character, it's really the middle one. It's, it's the character I'm asking for, the middle one. If it's found, okay. Then I got the X, I got the character I'm asking for. If it's not, that means it will be false. I could go to the second question. If it's mayor, or it's greater than, or it's lower than. If it's uh, if the the mid the middle character it's greater than the X, it means that the X probably it's in the first part of the of the array of of the characters I'm going in to ask, and then the middle one will become the new top. So I shorten the list that, uh, of data that I'm asking for. And the third option that could happen, it's that the, the middle, the, the X is greater than the mid, then what could happen? Well, the X is in the lower, is in the, in the, um, in the right side and the, the bottom, the middle will become the new bottom and we are going to shorten. And after that, we will go to loop and go to the next uh, to the next character and so on till we got all the 20 characters in this case for the version one. What I do in my script, uh, well, I started first including two injection screens, uh, strings. Why I do this? Because in when you make an uh, normal injection, you ask if the query you are asking, it's equal to one character, a letter, a number, or whatever you are asking for. But in this case, you need to try not only if it's equal, it's equal you, you will need to know it, it's greater or lower than. 
So I, be, I create two injection strings, one that it's greater than and one that it's equal. And the difference in these two injection strings is that um, what do I do? Uh, I, uh, also, I make the two queries, but in different moments. The first one takes me to the first option that it's that uh, the middle, the middle character I am asking, it's exactly the data um, gives gives me a true a true answer. So I will keep the the middle one, and the target two and the second query will give me a greater or a lower than. If it's uh, true, uh, that means that I will need to. Um, well, I include a, a counter to to count the. The, the quantity of, of, of queries I'm made in, and the middle will become the new bottom, or the third, the third uh, option is that in the query uh, that I'm asking, the data I have, it's uh, greater than the character. No, it's false. Okay, it's false. I go to the third one, so the, the middle will go uh, the the new top. And that's how the, the script goes along through the through the um, through the query. Uh, this is more or less what uh, we are asking for. Uh, when you start asking in, in, in a sequential search, it's the, the bottom part. You go the first letter, the second letter, the third letter, that's the fourth letter. When you go to final search, you go to you go to the middle and ask it in what side it is, and you go on. Uh, what makes me this um, this approach that I reduce considerable the 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 steps I made to connect to the to the data and to dump the data. Uh, well. Let me try a last. Let me see what is happening. Let me see what is happening with my lab. Uh, that will be a last shot if we could get. Uh, oh, now we found the problem. Okay, I believe that will work. Okay, well, we are now on, uh, and I have two minutes, so I, I, I will run. Uh, in the, the first script goes to the POC, and I go through the target, it, it's vulnerable, okay. Then I will go, okay, through the second script, the sequential search, and let's see how quick this goes. As you can see, I'm getting one letter at a time, one character at a time. What I'm getting is the version of the database. And it took 12 seconds and a half, and I made 652, uh, 58 requests. Let's see how much time and requests that the third, the binary, as you can see, it's a, a little bit um, quicker, and you see that it occurs in 3.6 seconds and 195 requests. You could see also in the burp, in the history, all the queries that are being made. As you can see, here appears the, the, true, the true query. And in the response, what I'm looking for appears in the 84 line, I believe, in the 85 line. This is the data I'm asking for uh, in the response. You see, this is a, 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 a 200 uh, response. That's okay. The, the rest are failing till found uh, a correct a correct data and goes on all all through the all through the through through the database, uh, just to to make sure that that's the the data of the the database or, or that's the data we are asking for. This is the database we are attacking, and 
and here appears the correct version that it's uh, 10.1.26 and it's the same data that we are getting here from the from the SQL injection. Well, uh, I, I'm I'm finished. I, I'm already finished. Just two 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 things to 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 complete to complement. Uh, first, well, some other existing methods. Uh, well, the bisection method it's the binary search, but there are other one that you could find in in the wild. Uh, there are re really interesting and probably more efficient. But well, that that was not my. My, my first try, uh, I go through, through this uh, binary search. Well, there is not only one solution for each problem. Probably uh, there will be people that will, will have a, a better uh, Python Kung Fu and would get uh, a better script, but that's the idea I propose. Uh, we can under can underestimate some program theory just because it was only theoric and it might be applica applicable to different situations. I conscious that the process that takes me to the result teaches me more than running a tool to do the same thing. Uh, automatic, automated public tools might not work in every case, so it's useful to have some resources and sharpen your tools and knowledge. And that's it. And then I, I wanted to thank to the to the Lima per chapter. Uh, they they encouraged me to to make this this chat. I, I was really. Um, worried if, if to do it or not, uh, the, the language, it's technical. I believe that that I was not sure if, if this could give uh, uh, value to you, but I, I hope you, you enjoy uh, with all the problems we had in, in, <laughs> in the process. Well, that's it, uh, I, I, I have to, to share with you.